everybody welcome back to my channel and to another vlog it's a very spontaneous one i feel like i say that a lot but this one actually very much so is because i'm off on a little adventure to see my friend sam now if you were ooh, around and here for vlogmas you will know who i mean by sam oh i actually have got two friends called sam I'm going to see Little Sam. Little Sam, who rode Banksy. Oh, you probably can't hear me now. Little Sam, who rode Banksy in the Puissance class as part of my Vlogmas series and jumped him after never having ridden him. Oh no. Come on, fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up. Actually, now it's underwater, you can hear me. Little Sam who rode Banksy in two of my Vlogmas episodes. Um, in fact, I think it was the first one where he rode Banksy for the very first time. And then a couple of weeks later, he took Banksy to a shoe jumping competition and jumped him in a puissance class, which was absolutely fab. I'll insert a little bit of footage over here and I'll also pop the link in the description below for those of you who may not have watched those videos. Um, but Sam is 12. He is a fellow riding club Cornwall Trekkie rider, so he's a member of the same riding club as me. And we've just sort of built a friendship along the fact that we both have fabulous patchy ponies. His is called Cracker. Oh my goodness, that just reminded me that actually he was in three of my Vlogmas vlogs because we also went team show jumping. He rode Cracker, I rode Banks, he rode his mum's horse Patrick and M rode Spritey. Um, so I will pop links in the description to all of those videos in case you missed out on them and you want to get a bit of background info as to who Sam is. As I said, he's a fellow Cornwall Trekkie Riding Club member. He's actually just got back from the national championships. We were at camp last weekend and our junior team were at the national championships competing in the arena eventing challenge. And I do believe they came third. I will have to check my facts on that though. Banks is actually on a bit of chill time following being at camp. Hello, he's thirsty. I knew you were thirsty. That's why I went and filled it up for you. Drinky it then. My camp vlog actually just went live recently as well. So that'll be linked in the description below too if you didn't see it. He was an absolute superstar. Little legs is thirsty too. But I'm gonna run, else I'm gonna be late. As I was saying though, Banks is on a few days rest. Um, one, because of being at camp, and two, because it's got a bit of a sore mouth from being so incredibly strong. Right, Reggie Roo and OC2, I will see you all later. I'm heading down to assist Sam with learning how to use his stopwatch, because he is doing his first BE of the season on Sunday up at Morton, which is actually where we did our first BE of last season. Oh, let's turn that music off. Um, and his mum asked me whether I could give him a little bit of assistance in learning to use his stopwatch efficiently, properly, correctly. I always wear a stopwatch. I always use the Cross Country app. Um, I don't always choose to listen to it the whole time. Oh, I sometimes do get carried away. Oh, the cold drip nose. Um, going too fast. And Sam is the same. Sam has a tendency to go too fast. So we are going to go and do a little bit of stopwatch tuition. And I believe whilst I'm down there, he has a pony that I can ride out with him. So I've packed my hat, I've packed my high vis. I got my boots on and off we go. And obviously whilst I'm down there, we will have a little chat with Sam and introduce you to all of his ponies too, because I believe he has had a new addition to his herd collection. Not doing very good with words today. To his, not prodigy, anyway, to his family <laughs> over the last couple of months basically since before Christmas, which is when I last saw him properly. So we're gonna head down there now and yeah, five, four, three, two, one, you will be saying hi to Sam. We made it. I might have got a little After bit getting lost. lost. <laughs> I might have been about eight miles from here, putting the wrong postcode, didn't I? How are you, Sam? Good. Very good. Getting excited about eventing at the weekend? Yeah, don't die. Show us Minnie Banksy, AKA Cracker. She. Tell us about Cracker. She is a seven-year-old. 
Actually, this is a barn tour, sir. Her show name is Travadlock Flower Girl. Travadlock Flower Girl. Uh, uh, she doesn't want to talk. And last <laughs> season was her first go at eventing, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, she went to Pontesville twice with the D80. Yep. Hoping to do the step up to 90. But having your first run at Morton 80. in the 80 this weekend. Exciting. And you've just got back from the Riding Club Champs. Came third. Came third in the arena eventing. And that was at 80 as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. With your teamies. Yeah. And she was awesome. Yeah. Brilliant. She's cute. How big is she? Uh, 14 hands. 14 hands and seven years old. Yeah. And extremely beautiful. Apache ponies rule. Yeah. But you've got a lot more ponies here too, haven't you? One, yeah. two, three, four. Five in total in the barn at the moment. And one empty stable. It's not being filled with my own pony. Oh, okay. Just saying. Just, <laughs> just on a schooling livery. So, do you want to, do you want to show me round? This one looks like it might be a little bit small for you, Sam, but... So, this is Mabel. She is a three-year-old. I have no idea what her show name is. <laughs> You've got a show name, Mum? Mabel? Lady Mabel. Lady Mabel. And you've had her from Tiny Tiny? Yeah. And I'm going to break her in this year, and then she'll be up for sale. Oh, she is beautiful, she isn't she? She had her first bath earlier. And she was a good girl? Yes. Not phased, I thought she's better, she's better to bath than some of the ones that get bath loads. Regularly, yeah. Oh, she looks like she loves attention. Is she in somebody else's stable, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she used to be Bentley's stable. That was Bentley's. Yeah. And Bentley, who was, was at Barry Farm. I was thinking of Barney, then. Oh, no, Bob. Barney is most definitely not. So Mabel's in Bentley's stable. Bentley's gone off to do some more Grand Nationaling. Yeah. Because you're a bit too tall for him now. Yeah. Oh, so we've got his Mabel. Sign, his sign will always stay here because it's still his stable. Oh, good. So the girlies down this end, Mabel, and then Cracker. Mr. Barney. And then Mr. Barney is who was at Hoy's. Yes. And he's a bit of a jumping machine, isn't he? Yeah. He loves his job. I remember you pairing around the cross country at Colrain on him, looking like you had seriously serious lack of brakes. Uh, probably me more pushing him, but <laughs> a bit of both because you love who, who likes going the speediest, you or Barney? Both. Uh, I don't quite. Yeah, probably both. <laughs> you definitely know where where the canter paths are, don't you? Mm -hmm. Reminds you know me of Spidey. Yeah. And what's the plans with Barney this year? Uh, to to do some more workers and hopefully try to qualify for Hoys again. Oh. And RI. Or international. Oh, fab. That would be good. Now we're getting to who I'm riding. Do you know what happened the last time I, I rode a lovely grey? What? I oh, fell Dee -Dee. a little bit in love with it. Dee Dee. Do you know? Oh, Dee Dee, yeah. Well remembered. Dee Dee and Hector. Do you remember Hector? Oh, yeah. At Colrain. Yeah. Oh. You're a little bit bigger than Hector. You're like perfect size. So Patrick's five. Mum's hiding. <laughs> Um, Five or six? Six, I think. He's six now, is he? He might do, I think he might do some eventing and show jumping. He did the arena eventing a couple of weeks ago at Cole Rain, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, he liked to be jumping. I saw the pictures inside, he looked awesome. Yeah. And he's primarily mum's, but you're just stealing him from time to time. That, that is questionable. I would say he's mum's and she rides him occasionally. Oh, okay. <laughs> kind of stuff. And you just keep getting taller, so soon you'll just have to have him. Yeah, Sorry, what, a shame. what a shame. <laughs> what a shame, he's gorgeous. That's if, that's if he doesn't come home with me first. Mm, <laughs> I think there'll be a fight for that. Oh, he's lush. And then the newest addition to your brood of ponies. Scandal. Herd, what do you call a flock of ponies? <laughs> flock of ponies. <laughs> a flock she, of ponies. This is Scampy. This is Scampy. Oh, Scampy's How grown. Old is she not? Uh, six. She's six. Six. So she's young as well. Not, not a clue what her show name is. <laughs> Mum? Um, don't know. Something <laughs> Um Oh, and she's jumper as well? Yeah. Is she going to be an inventor? Not a clue. Not but a clue. What, a does she, what does she like at the moment? She's good at dressage. Yeah, she's good at dressage. She, yeah. she hasn't been anywhere yet. She, on, tomorrow, she's going to go to her first arena hire. Oh, fab. We're going to go to Pendarves. Pendarves. Oh, Johnson. and that's who you're riding when we go out now? Yes. Cool. Should, should we crack on then? Yeah, and tack up. Oh. She's got a very kind face, hasn't she? She's, she's really usually grumpy. Face. What is she? Is she? She's got unknown breeding, but I think she's got Irish in her. Yeah. But she's Roan, isn't she? Yeah. 
She's going to change per colour so much. <laughs> Personally, I, 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 you're cute, aren't you? When it comes to cleaning up for her, because she's kind of just kind of brush and quite she's e she's bit quite easy, yeah. Quite easy to clean, yeah, exactly. I'm like, like uh, all the greys and white legs that you've got. Yeah. Right, Patrick, shall we crack on? He's off. Shorter neck, though. <laughs> <laughs> We're off. And I'm already in love. I'm probably a little bit close to your pony's bum, to be honest. <laughs> they know each other. Loving being back behind little grey ears. Keen bean feisty ones at that. like you too then. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's why your mum said to me when I was lost, have you gone past the church? <laughs> that would be the church. No, I was eight miles away. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, how's Scampy feeling? Good. Good. Leading the way? Yeah. Oh, he's definitely bigger, isn't he? Yeah. So she's 14 too? I think so. He's 15 now. I reckon she'll be eventing by the end of the year. <laughs> you'll be taking three each, day, each. No. does your lorry take three? yeah oh there you go then you'll oh, be yeah. taking Patrick oh, that was Patrick Cracker and Scampy Patrick's off look at these ears <laughs> he's so he... I can't no I can't he's been on schooling training oh has he? oh I best put both hands back on the reins then Patrick <laughs> he won't jump or odd things <laughs> no but to use my hands properly I can't do that one handed yeah, <laughs> I was just I looking at his happy, excited ears. Man. Yeah. Well, we will in a minute, because I'll be like that. <laughs> Great. We just had a lovely canter, didn't we? Yeah. Very keen pony, Sam. I thought I was told that Patrick wasn't that enthusiastic about life. He's the laziest. He's not. He's keen bean. Out of ideas. Oh, well, okay. I don't need to ride the others then. I'm quite happy on him. He's lovely. He's so comfy. I might have to take him. No. We just swap seats. I didn't say that, Banks, actually. I apologise. I didn't say that. Poor Banks. You wouldn't swap it that. You love him a lot if you wouldn't swap him for Banksy. Well, the thing is, if I just, like, I'll bring him there, swap him, and I'll put Banksy in and just drive up. Oh, both of them? Yeah. Oh, okay, so okay. It. Guys, it's 24 hours later. I'm actually on my main man at the moment, having a mooch. I feel really, really guilty because I can't stop thinking about Patrick. <laughs> Like I feel like love affair guilt. Don't ask me what love affair guilt feels like uh, or how I know what it feels like. Um, but yeah, I just feel like I cheated on Banksy. I feel like I did to Banksy what I did to Buddy all those years ago. But I just can't stop thinking about Patrick and grey Connemara ponies. Although he was a slightly oversized, overgrown pony. Patrick was 15-1 and he just reminded me so much of Dee Dee, who I fell in love with, as you know, when I first rode her up at Meg's. And then also Hector, the little grey Connie. He was a little bit smaller. Um, but I rode when Holly had him for six weeks up at Colrain last year. And I just keep thinking, it's trying to tell me something, Tina. This is three grey Connies in a row that you've fallen head over heels in love with. And I always said I didn't want another horse after Banksy. Up until, I think, the time I rode Hector last year. <laughs> And now it's got me all in a, not that he's for sale or anything. I was going to say it's got me in a do I or don't I. He's not for sale. Um, and Banksy will never, ever be for sale. Excuse the mud, mud police. Um, but it's got me all in thinking. Like I was thinking maybe next year when Banks is 16, he might want a slightly quieter life. And I might need to add to my brood stroke herd. <sighs> but I can't stop thinking about it. And I'm just wondering whether this year might might have to be the year. What do you think? Would you be offended? 
<laughs> it's like I think we just carry on hacking mum and talk about this at a different time I don't know why you've just stopped me but I had to stop and vent because I was feeling guilty for thinking about it so much oh nobody will ever replace you my boy oh and that's why I would never try and get anything like him again because it'd never be the same but if I got a pony or an overgrown pony hmm anyway food for thought I'm not sure where I'm going to edit this into the vlog whether it's at the end or at the middle but let's go back to Patrick hopefully it'll be in the middle then otherwise because if it's the end let's end the vlog um let's go back to Patrick and carry on with our lovely ride but I just felt I needed to say that yeah I've definitely changed my mind and I'm never saying never on having another pony now uh, it probably won't be this year but it may hopefully well be next year unless the right thing turns up in the meantime but block your ears banks just block your ears Oh, mud. <laughs> and, yeah, just never say never. I feel a bit excited and I shouldn't because it's not even happening yet. But when it does happen, I think I'm pretty much 99.9% .9 decided that it's going to be grey and a Connie. Sam has got some fabulous hacking. Oh my goodness, good job we went over that train track there. It's about to come, isn't it? I can hear it. The train's coming. It's got amazing off-road hacking. Really nice. And these two seem to get on well. Really good. I'm just trying to suss out whether Sam's going to take Cracker eventing. Uh, Cracker? Cracker is definitely going eventing. Yes. Scampy eventing this season. I don't know. Who do you think would be first to go out of these two? Yeah, first. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. And oh, I still think Pat Patrick could go to Launceston. It's hard to get all those ponies fit. Very true, very true. See, there's a train. We just missed it. It is very hard to get all those ponies fit. And your day already starts at half past four, did you say? Most of the time. Not all the time. Okay. Because mum does do them sometimes. Oh, give mum credit where credit's due, yes. yeah. Last week she did them four days. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, they're very happy ponies. And they're looking in fabulous condition, all of them. Yeah. And yeah. I'm excited to see you ride Mabel as yes. well. When's that? When's, when's, when, when's the breaking in commencing? Uh, and she's three-year-old now. Yeah. So she, at end of this so event season. Yeah. Jump season, you'll start working on her. She will be over the winter, and then she'll have a breakaway because, like, so she can Le yeah absorb what she's learnt. Mm, yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> and then she'll come back, do a bit more. And like, then, if anybody's the looking for an eleven hand, eleven two. Yeah. First pony. She's oh. She's like when you go in the field. She'll follow you. Aww. She's really easy to catch. Because you've had her since she was tiny, tiny. She's yeah. really good to catch because when you, whenever you call her, she gallops over to the gate. Oh, cute. It's handy because I put her out with all the others and then they teach them to do the same. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> funny how the, the baby teaches the older one. Yeah, what's that all about? I love how you didn't want me to turn the camera on and now you have to stop talking. <laughs> right, I'm going to turn it off now yeah. anyway because we're going to enjoy a hack on these gorgeous ponios, aren't yeah. we? Who are very content. Are you taking me swimming in a minute? No. <laughs> You're coming out. <laughs> Just use your brakes if I can't stop. Okay. Well, I didn't make my range very short for a start. <laughs> Whoa, well, I am going to get covered in mud. Good boy, Patrick. Oopsie. <laughs> He's lush, good boy. Woo! Oh, yeah, me too. I'm giggling so much. Oh. I usually go faster. Really? That was fast enough for me. We, we, we used to race along here. Ah, okay. Yeah. Emily would love coming riding with you. Right, Em, you and Sprite need to get down here. Or stand Em and Cracker. Cracker and Sprite stand on. Yes, racing. 
they're okay. You just gotta be relaxed. Feed off. <laughs> Woo! Through the tunnel. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Good ponies. It is a bit spooky for them to be so speedy. Watch where you're going. You can't. It's a bit. <laughs> He's off. Oh, I was gonna say it's a bit stony, mate. But he wanted to. I know, trot. It's very pretty. <laughs> You're speedy, Gonzalez. There, they think it's a race, don't they? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> He's got very happy ears. Yeah. Oh. Sam's just reminded me what I actually came down for. Stopwatch training. You know what we need to do? What? Well, we'll teach you how to actually use it, but what we need to do one week is set up a 400 metre track or something in the field. You do it and then you can fields. build your rhythm and you can time it and work out what that feels like. Well, I, well, and then you can work out the I'll, different paces. I might have to go around the track and put some jumps out. Woo, yeah. Put out some like jump steeplechase fence. Oh, ringing me. Oh, uh oh. Popular man, this boy is. And actually, I do apologise, Sam's 13, not 12. It was his birthday a couple of weeks ago and he didn't tell me. That means I'm going to have to find him another present. <laughs> Hello. That's going to be mum saying, Where are you? You've been ages. Yeah, fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's fine now. We're in love. Oh, me and Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm hoping I don't lose Patrick. I love him. Yeah. I want to take him home. <laughs> He's gorgeous. He's got such happy ears. Well, you, you, you know, once you've gone along the bottom bit, like the bottom counter pack, turned up. Somebody that talks right. almost as much as me, if not more, actually. Um, <laughs> or we're walking along the top bit. It's nice to have some footage on board. Yeah. Or, or, on, or just grey pony. On the way back, we've got like a dad left a bit of extra verge, which is like grass, Ooh. so we can trot that. Oh, okay. When we get near your house. Yeah, that it's we 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 have to go through the other lane. I feel like I'm with Emily. Can trot every opportunity. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll video you can trot on that one. Okay. No, it's just in case you get home before it gets dark. Yeah. <laughs> Jolly. I've got to wash them off, that's going to be fun. Yeah. yeah. He's the opposite of Banksy, he's got white body brown legs. But, I mean, they're meant to be white legs, but yeah. I don't know. Still, he went yeah, not great, is it? I bet the gorgeous sunset doesn't show on the GoPro. You said we'd be getting back in the dark. <laughs> we tell what my next horse might be. I wonder. A grey Connie. Wait a minute, I struggle now cleaning just four white legs, let alone a whole white body, and neck, neck, head, everything. You There's just something about them though. You need to have like an oil tank full of shampoo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, he's just lush. I bet he'll look cute all plaited up when he goes eventing. I know, we know he will do soon. I know he'll go out this year. I can feel it in my bones. If you don't take him, I will. I'll ask for your mum's permission. <laughs> Be no, exactly. Go to Chiveton or somewhere. Good boy, I think he'd love it. <laughs> Here comes Tina. <laughs> Breaks! Speedy! Oh, oh. Look at that! <laughs> Boy, what Patrick! Yeah. Oh, funny! I'm not doing it behind you though, I'm doing it slower <laughs> and at my pace, thank you very much! <laughs> Can I not do them in this direction? Up hill, not down hill! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> oh my goodness, this pony is so cool. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That's like four foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a better height, Mum. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to jump it on a pony that I've sat on once, yeah. but <laughs> you carry on. It was actually relatively big the time before when we jumped it. <laughs> or I won't be allowed to come round again. I'll be told I'm a bad influence. Even though I'm the one saying don't do it. Whee! Don't worry, Patrick, we won't be doing that, mate. Whee! <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun, thank you very much. I know we haven't done what I actually came for yet, but the pony fun was more yeah, fun than, uh, yeah. than watch, watch lessons. Yeah, probably. <laughs> nice to pop a little jump, or a yeah. big jump in your case. <laughs> I haven't jumped her in ages. She was ace, as was he. I'm a little bit in love with mum's pony and I want to steal him. <laughs> he's last, he's been so good. I bet he's well grubby if I get off and have a look. Ooh, sorry, mate. Yeah, I knew you got splattered in mud because somebody goes super speedy along that counter at the bottom, didn't they? Well done. I was trying to hold a GoPro and I was like, oh no, I need to put that down. <laughs> right, should we end the vlog and then go and learn your... What are you doing? YouTube, come on, I was relying on you. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Yay! And also do ensure you go and check out Sam's channel, Sam underscore ponies. I've also changed my Instagram from Ooh. loads of numbers. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> it's just Sam underscore ponies, which is fab. Keep it's up bloody. to date with all your progress with all your ponies. Let's go and get them all stripped off and warm and toasty and fed. And yes. catch up with the vlog very, very soon. Yeah. And good luck eventing at the weekend. Yeah. Not on one of these, that's on no. Cracker. We'll be um, keeping up to date with Sam's Instagram for the updates on how he gets on. Yeah. But over and out for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.